Another grammar aspect that is important for uh, describing a product or your project is uh, uh, comparative adjectives. So you want to compare things, right? You want to compare your product with another product, for example, of yours or of your competitor, or you want to uh, compare your project with the project that you used to work on uh, earlier. So here, uh, you really want to know the rules, how to make comparative and superlative forms of adjectives. And let me give you an example what a comparative form of adjective is. For example, you want to say that uh, the project I'm currently working on is bigger than my previous one, right? So bigger is an example of a comparative form. Um, superlative form is uh, something like you would say, uh, this is the biggest project I've ever worked on, right? So the biggest is a superlative form. Um, let's take a look at more examples where uh, we are using uh, comparative and superlative adjectives when talking about products. Uh, for example, the new version is more reliable than the old one. It's smaller than a laptop. It's not as expensive as a PC. It's the cheapest software on the internet. When you want to describe a process of how something works uh, or how something is being done, this is another case where you would want to use a, a passive voice. Um, just imagine, like you all work with technology and definitely you will need to explain to people or to each other how something works, uh, yeah, how something is done. In this case, you don't have to say who is doing what, you just need to specify what is being done. And like I said before, uh, passive voice is used for actions uh, when it is not important or it is unknown who is performing an action. Um, when you want to describe a process, for example, yeah, uh, you want to say that uh, something was installed or something was reinstalled uh, and things like this. You can use different tenses in this case, right? If you're talking about processes that are being done on a daily basis, you would want to use uh, present tenses, right? Like present simple, for example. If you want to say that something is being done now, you will want to use a, a present continuous. And uh, to talk about past past, it will be uh, past simple or present perfect, uh, mostly. Uh, so let's take a look at the examples and let's uh, talk about the forms of passive voice in different tenses. So the first example, the system was reinstalled. Here we use a past simple and we can see that the verb to be was transformed into was and we use past participle for the verb install. And since this is a regular verb, it is regular verb, um, don't get confused here, uh, we use ed ending. If I want to make a question here, what would I say? For example, I want to say, when was the system reinstalled? So I would just follow the regular rules for making a question with a question word, where I would use uh, the verb to be before the subject, and it is a system in this case. Let's take a look at the next example. Three bugs have been fixed. In this example, we are talking about uh, probably the result, that is why we use present perfect, that is why we say have been fixed. Again, if I want to make a question, I would say how many bugs have been fixed? So I will follow the same rules as in the first example. Let's take a look at more examples. The payment was processed. The question, when was the payment processed? The letter will be sent to all the employees. The question, why will it be sent? If you still have questions about a passive voice, please let me know. I will be happy to give you a hand with all your grammar issues.